It's time, another episode of The Daily Creative. You know, this is the show I put on my YouTube channel here where I answer your questions. Once you've left voicemails, we got 100 of them in the queue. I'm trying to like crush through uh, a bunch of them every week and share them on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, here and I think on Creative Live channel if you follow us on, on uh, Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff. So um, the, the gist is that I'm answering your questions about your journey toward becoming a creator and entrepreneur. I've done those things in my life. Uh, I've achieved some success there. I got the internet at my fingertips. I got some friends if I need to call on some folks to help you. Um, but I got about 50 or 100 questions in the, in the uh, behind us now. So if you want to review those, that's good. Otherwise, just start listening right now because I got two questions. I'm coming at you. This one is for from Roy. All right, let's listen up, Roy. Talk Yo, to me. Hey, Jake, what's up? My name is Roy Ness. What's up, Roy? Um, I am a musician. I started a new kind of rap vlog in which I release a music video every week. Okay, that's good. On YouTube <clears throat> and Facebook and all that. Okay. I wanted to ask you, what do you think about creating, what do you think about getting inspired hmm. and creating from that? So consuming content and getting inspired from that because Gary V and people um, such and such say don't don't uh, consume as much, but True. be original and just do and do and do and do and do, which I understand, but okay. what's your take on this? As a photographer, as a creative, are you a one to uh, just do things by yourself, or are you one that takes references with everything he does? Um, All right. I assume you got to the point where you are independent and creative, but I would be uh, happy to hear your take on this. Sure. Thank you so much. Right everybody. on. Thank you very you much, did. Roy. I appreciate you. Good question. Uh, so I got a bunch of thoughts about it. Um, and I'm gonna pull on a couple different threads, and not, not in any particular order here, but one thread I wanna pull on is, look at the concept of you coming up with a wildly magnificent, perfect idea, and then going out and executing that thing, like, that's gonna take a while. You need to be a mature, professional, creative before you're gonna have that perfect idea, and there's so much time between now and then. You need to be making stuff, and then there's a couple ways you can think about making stuff. If, if, if you're imitating other people, you're basically trying to copy some of the things you've seen. You're deconstructing their work. You see a cool photograph and you go and try and make a copy. That's like, that's literally, it's called practice. You're working on your craft because you need to be able to make the image that you can see in your mind, whether that's a design or build the business that you see in your mind. You can feel how it would work, what the product's gonna feel like, who the target audience are. You know all that stuff. We gotta get to work practicing those things because it takes practice to be able to make the thing that you see in your brain. You have to have the actual skills to do it, and those skills are learned over time. So I promise, if you, for example, try and draw the most, you know, like at Creative Live, we had this thing called uh, 28 to Make, which is creating something every day for 28 days. The first day is like drawing the, the beverage that's sitting closest to you. Go draw that, and it doesn't look exactly like the thing that your eye sees because you don't have the skills. So first of all, like, don't be afraid to imitate, copy, make, like, rip off, you're practicing. That's a, that's a good thing to do early on. Now, um, I think you should be familiar with Austin Kleon's work. He's a good friend, he's been on, I don't know, yeah, we talked about Austin a fair bit on the Daily Creative. He's also been on Chase Jarvis Raw and Chase Jarvis Live. He's in the 30 Days of Genius series on Creative Live. CreativeLive.com slash genius, check it out. 30 amazing videos for free, just press one blue button. Um, but he, you know, great, it's, it's great artists steal their work. And what they mean by that, and it's just, it's not just like I'm gonna take this and represent it as mine, that is like research is everywhere. You're always taking all this stuff in and you should use that as inspiration, as source material. Everything is a remix. Most everything has been made. Sure, there's all kinds of new things that are coming out, but of the things that are made in total, there are very, very few non-derivative pieces of work. Everything's a remix. So why don't you start remixing? Now, if you're just ripping off one person over and over and over, that's called stealing. If you're representing that as your work, you're just copying them and putting out what they're doing, parroting them every, at every move, and you're representing that as your original thought, your idea, versus ripping off from everybody, that's smart, that's research. 
doing for one person and representing as yours, that's, that's stealing, doing all this stuff, that's research. So I like this kind of drawing and this kind of thing and I, I wanna take this feature from this app that I love and put it in my new app. That's called research, that's being culturally aware and being informed. So, uh, you know, check out Austin's book, Steal Like an Artist, I think it's brilliant. Picasso has also famously talked about stealing work. Good artists copy, great artists steal, that is like an absolute ripoff. Um, and of course there's all kinds of nuance, you don't wanna, I'm not gonna go into that, that's just like some, that's bullshit, like little tunnel we can go down and like, how much should you steal, huh? just like figure it out, okay? Be inspired. Now, I'm gonna draw a line in the sand and say the other half of the same coin, which I heard in your question, I don't remember the exact words that you used, but it's like, um, it, at what point do you feel, like, maybe, should I play that, play that again, what was that? No, it's like, where was that? Yeah, okay, here's what I'm trying to get at. How much time are you spending getting inspired versus making? Ultimately, the, I think the, the mode you wanna be in is when you know what your voice is, what you want to say as an artist. You will develop that over time by using the other half of the, the first half of this video I was talking about. And ultimately, what you're really trying to do is be inspired by somebody, remix it in a way that you feel moves you. It relates to your personal life experiences, things you care about, what's the lens that you see on this world, that's your sort of personal vision, that's the most valuable thing you can create, but here's the trick, you can't create that overnight, that is only created through massive repetition. So, get to the making, like, there you go, get, get making stuff. Now, um, it's very important for you to realize that if you sit around and you just consume, you are a poser because real artists ship, real artists make stuff, real creators, real entrepreneurs, they put products out into the world. That's what they do by definition. And if you're just sitting back here pontificating, I said this in an earlier video, if you're just sitting back here, you know, you know what happens to a, a designer's career when they do this? Nothing happens, exactly nothing. You have to be making, you have to be designing, sharing your work, participating in your community, helping other people see your work, getting your work out there, making more of it, you know, reworking your work, and that, that all takes, go figure, work. You have to put in effort, you have to do the reps. And what I see problematically, at a problematic level, is people consuming so much and making so little. It should be like 90-10, okay? And early on, you're just like, you're, you're taking, you're consuming, and you're trying to make and mimic and copy and parody and figure out your personal style. That takes a lot of repetition. But at some point, you need to be making a lot, okay? So maybe it's not 90, 10, I'm not gonna give you a percentage, but certainly create before you consume. You've done a bunch of consuming your whole life. You, you have some ideas, start on those ideas. If you wake up every morning and you share a picture, you work it up and then you share it on Instagram, and then you go cruise everybody else's stuff, that's great. Because if you cruise everybody else's stuff, you're gonna go, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not good, my, my, my stuff's not this enough or that enough or I'm not this enough or I'm not that enough. That's bullshit, that's gonna keep you from publishing. Wake up, use your energy, publish something that you, you've created the night before, the day before or whatever, and then say, oh cool, I wanna go look at my, some of my favorite feeds to get inspired. Go to museums, actually go see art like in person. It's powerful, go to shows. Get out of the rut by getting into some other adventures and experiences. That's inspiration. Just sitting every day on your phone and doing this, that's just bullshit. That's procrastination, nothing happens. That, is, that will create, as my friend Marie Forleo says, compare Schlager, you start comparing yourself to other people, which is never good, because you're seeing their highlight reel and you know all of your dirt in here, so that's gonna make you feel bad. I think there's a lot of science that says that social media generally makes you feel bad. <laughs> um, so try and create a lot more than you consume. It will be a, a, a practice for you because creativity is a habit first and foremost, more than it is a skill. All right, good question. I appreciate it, Roy. Uh, I got one more question here. I'm gonna get, get down to business, quick like a bunny. Um, not sure who this is. Um, hey, my name here. is John Cargill. Hey. I'm the Cargyle. founder of Cargill Multimedia. You can okay. find me on uh, Facebook or Instagram or by Googling www.cargillemultimedia.com. Okay. Um, I'm Good a small time photographer out here in Comfort, Texas. Okay. And my beef is this. Um, how do I trump somebody who I used to work for 
who uh, wanted to copy other successful uh, people as in um, clothing lines. Hmm. They wanted to copy their work in order to be successful, where my problem was we needed to be unique and okay. different to be successful. Yep. And now that we've parted ways, my priority is to be unique and create quality content, sure. whereas their uh, goal mm -hmm. is to continue to copy other people's work and use my work to set themselves apart. Okay. So that's my question. Um, how do I continue to be successful where when it seems that the people who are copying other people are being successful? Hmm. Thank you so much, and I, I really appreciate the uh, fact that I can call you and leave a message. Cool. And, and please have a wonderful evening. Will do. Bye. John, thanks a lot for the message, man. So uh, appreciate it. I hope everything's down there. Was it Comfort, Texas? I haven't been to Comfort, Texas. That sounds comfortable. I was in Austin last week, but uh, all right. So stop caring about the other photographers. Can you just stop caring about the other creators. Stop caring about the other companies. You do you, and you do you so well. Stop caring if they're getting, sure be aware. That's market awareness is a good thing, but obsessing over someone else getting a job because you know that they're not good enough, smart enough, tall enough, whatever, they're getting the work. So stop comparing yourself to them. Stop worrying about it. What you can do is double down on you. What do you care about? What can you do to be different, not just better? Okay, how do you stand out in the marketplace? What's your message? What's your, um, your product? How is it, you know, how do you have the best meditation product or best meditation app on the internet? How do you, like, what's your, in the, like, how do you stand out? What's, what's the core value that you bring? What is the insight that's unique and different? Focus on that. I'm not saying don't pay attention to the market because the market's always moving. Sorry about that, ding, ding. The market's always moving and doing its stuff. What I want you to do is do you. Okay, and do you and make and ship and make and ship and I don't care what it is you make if you're a designer, a photographer, an entrepreneur, a chef, a dancer, I don't care. You just put it out there over and over and over and have a point of view and be constructive and create community, cultivate community, do the other 50%. That's a video you should watch or I'm thinking the, the, the making and the marketing is really only half of the whole, half of the pie that you see from successful people like myself and other people you follow on the internet you need to, to participate in community. You need to build community. And you can't build community while you're sh like shooting you know, a bow and arrow into someone else's back. Like that's just like, you're hunting other people and you're like, this person doesn't deserve it. Why waste the energy? You get zero value from that. And if they're stealing you, that means you're doing a kick ass, stealing from you, that means you're doing a kick ass job. You're always gonna be imitated, especially if you're out in front. Because if you're the lead dog, the view's always changing, it's interesting and cool. So what can you do to put your work out there, get in front, get in front of the haters? Like, this is the way you solve the problem. You don't give two Fs what the other people are doing and you work on the stuff that you care about. How can you grow? How can you build? How can you develop? How can you change? How can you help others? How can you participate in your community? And when those folks are copying your crap, that's gonna happen. Let it be a sign of flattery. Got that? All right, signing off for another episode of the Daily Creative. 802-962-4357 if you want your question answered. There's 50 episodes, hundreds of questions in the queue. Go poke around on my YouTube channel, check it out. Don't forget to check out Creative Live. I think it's the most amazing resource for creators on the internet. I love you, until next time, peace out.